In the last video, I showed you where I bought this remote from. It's the LG factory service remote control. And I told you how much I bought it for. And I gave you a little introduction on what the buttons at the bottom over here do. So today I'm just going to do a general introduction, the rules to using this remote. And the more advanced stuff will come uh, in later videos. Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I'm going to show you all you need to know about the LG factory service remote control. So, this button over here is called the TV button. This takes you directly to the TV no matter what the input of your TV is. It has taken me directly to the TV without necessarily going through the input button which is at the top over here. The button over here labeled RGB is for checking the current resolution of your television. For example, you can see as I press it again, it highlights the aspect ratio as well as the resolution over there. So rule number one when it comes to using this remote is that the default password is 0413. The default password is 0413 and there are only three buttons that use the password and that's the Instart button, the Adjust button and the Instop button. Let's try that. I'm going to press the Instart button. The default password I've already told you is 0413 and here we have the message that is printed on your screen over here. So from here, you can see that the model number of the television as well as the serial number is written over there, as well as the total usage time in hours. So this TV has been on for 1,385 hours. The second rule to using this remote control is that you never press the exit button when you want to go back. So for example, let me just come to power off status over here. I'll do a, a different video explaining the meaning of the power off statements that are written over here. So I can just scroll down over here, but you never press the exit button. I've said for the second rule, don't use the exit button. So the second rule is use the same button you started with to go back. So if I press the exit button over here, this exit button, I won't use this exit button. If I use the exit button, everything will disappear. You only use the exit button when you've done everything you want to do in, in the menu. So in start again, password is 0413. Let me go to power off status again. So if I want to go back, I can't use the left navigation button over here. You only press the same same button you started with. For me, it was instant, so I just press the instant again. So the second rule is to go back, use the same button you started with. So let's try another button. This time is the ADJ button. The ADJ button short for adjust password is 0413 you have your options over there again don't press the exit button you only press the exit button when you want to exit so just press the same same button again adjust it will go to the main page the third rule for using the LG factory service remote control is that never change any settings that you don't understand. For example, you might just come up maybe to system one, like this. When you try to go left or right, you see I've already changed that number. So never, never ever change anything. You might change it unknowingly. So the best thing 
that I can recommend is take a photo of the settings. After taking a settings, you will see the the default values over here. So when you change anything over there, even unknowingly, you know what to change back to. So I've said exit. When you exit, you exit everything. We are at the last rule. So the last rule for using this remote control is that the settings take effect after you switch off the TV and switch it on back again using the remote control. So for example, I've already shown you this trick before. This is called mirror mode. Mirror mode is responsible for flipping your television screen upside down. So I've done changing the setting. I've pressed the exit button, but nothing has happened. So when I switch off my TV and I switch it on back again, that's when changes take effect. You can see it's upside down. There you go. So those are the four rules for using the LG service remote control. I'm going to do a follow-up video of all the other buttons. I don't want this video to go becoming very long, especially the sound checks, the P only, the P only button and the power off status require a, a different single video on their own. So thank you for watching and goodbye.